Hi, I'm Dr. Kip Wingo. Uh, this is Chiquita Lyons, my technician. Uh, this is Duke Edwards. Duke is, is presents today for, for a neuter. And I wanted to demonstrate how a pre-anesthetic physical exam is done. And actually, this is an example of any physical exam, proper physical exam. So w when your pet goes to the veterinarian, if this isn't happening, you need to look for a different veterinarian. OK, here we go, big guy. So it is my custom to start here and work my way back. And that, that's the way we're going today. And I'm going to first look in Duke's eyes. And oh my gosh, he has beautiful eyes. I can get a little glimpse of his retina in there and I can see that his cornea is nice and clear. And the white part's called his sclera. It's nice and white. It's not yellow. It's not red. And the pink part's called the conjunctivus. Nice and healthy pink. And then we'll check out his right eye too. And it's awesome. I can tell that his pupils are equal. And when I move his head, his eyes track in the right fashion. So if your veterinarian is doing a physical exam, you see him doing this, he's not acting cute, he or she, he's really doing stuff that's very important. Okay, the next thing I'll look at is, is the nose. I'll look for nasal discharge, any gross there at the end, and his looks fine. All right, so we're going to look in Duke's ears right now. And we'll go all the way down and get around this corner. And every time I look into ear, I'm going to visualize the eardrum. It's very, very important. And Duke has very clean ears all the way in. And now we're going to look in Duke's mouth. Duke's gums, the first thing we'll assess are his gums. He has a nice, beautiful, healthy pink color. We're looking at his teeth here. He already has some gingivitis and tartar. We can see the red gum right here above this premolar and the tartar buildup. His bite is normal. We, we look for bites that are abnormal, teeth that are banging abnormally. Uh, things that we can help. We look for chips in his teeth. It's just perfect. He needs his teeth clean. He's a youngster. He's a year old, but he hasn't been brushing regularly, and we'll talk to his mom about that. We'll open his mouth and look in there. Often we'll see masses or sticks or bones or abscesses or cuts in the mouth, and his is just absolutely perfect. You can see in there. Now I'm going to palpate. Palpate means to feel. I'm going to palpate Duke's lymph nodes right under his ears. Those are normal, and I'm going to move to some lymph nodes right in front of his shoulders. Those are normal as well. And now I'm going to palpate. Remember, palpate means to feel. I'm going to feel of his pharyngeal and laryngeal area. Here is voice box. And I'm going to be a little rough or a little vigorous with that because I want to see if it induces a cough. And it does not. It doesn't seem to bother him at all. Now we're going to check his neck for pain. We're going to gently move his neck to the left and to the right and up and down and see he's kind of liking this to a dog or cat that is not painful a physical exam is actually a pleasant experience for them because they're just getting a massage they're getting love done so now it is my custom to go to the the hands and we'll check every finger starting with digit one or the thumbs there's one two three four five we're assessing the nails and the fingers looking in between the fingers and the pads and the hand bones, filling those to see if they're lumps, bumps, or painful areas. There are none. This is Duke's wrist right here, and we're looking at it. We know it's not swollen. It doesn't feel swollen. We're going to flex it to see if it's painful and extend it. It's wonderful. His radius and ulna, the same as ours. I'm going to palpate that to feel for abnormalities. There are none in Duke's case. This is his elbow. That's his shoulder joint. So we're going to extend them both vigorously to see if there is pain. If a dog has joint pain there and we extend, they'll pull back. They'll let you know. The limp node in Duke's armpit is normal. You can check his shoulder blade. It moves nice and free. His muscle mass is good and his tone is good, his muscle tone. Same thing on the leg, thumb, digit two, three, four, and five. And checking his nails in between his fingers and his pads. His hand bones feel good. There's his wrist. We're going to extend. And flex and his radius and ulna feel good elbow shoulder extension no pain and limp node shoulder blade okay so chiquita and i are going to swap ends and now the next thing i do is assess the body condition or how fat or how thin a patient is the body condition scoring system most commonly used in the united states um, goes from one to nine one is a pet that is just nearly starved to death and nine is very very obese um, five is a very acceptable body condition score. Uh, four is better. Four is racehorse lean. This dog is, in, is racehorse lean. His body condition is four. Therefore, his target weight, which is also assessed every time we see a patient, his target weight is recorded and it is his weight today. 
So we'll check his coat and we feel for lumps and bumps and look for parasites and don't feel any. Checking for lumps and bumps and painful areas along his sides, along his thorax and his abdomen. We'll rub all down his, his breast and his belly to check for abnormalities. There are none. We'll always check for hernias in his belly button and his groin. We see those frequently. He has none. We'll feel his lymph nodes in his groin. And now we're going to palpate or feel inside his abdomen. You'd be amazed at what we feel inside an abdomen. Everything you can imagine that we've, we've taken out of their belly. Everything. Lead ropes, cans, corn cobs, rocks. 27 hair ribbons one time. Pretty cool. Gator, gator glue or gorilla glue. Now work to his knees. I'm going to feel of his knees to see if they're swollen. They're not. I'm going to push on his kneecaps and make sure they stay in place. Those are normal. Then check his limp nose behind his knees. I'm going to palpate his ankle and his foot. I'm going to stress his ankle and his knee to see if it hurts. It does not. I'm going to extend his hip and abduct it to check for pain. There is none. Same thing, other leg. Oop, big guy. I'm going to extend that knee, ankle, and foot. I'm going to extend his hip and abduct it. Gives his fine. Now we're going to do what we call the booty check. Going in, that's fine. We'll palpate his testicles. They're normal. About to finish up here, we're going to listen to this guy's heart. And I'm listening for abnormal rhythms or sound. Dukes is normal. At the same time with this hand, I'm getting his pulse in his hind leg from his femoral artery, coordinating the sound with the beat. His is perfect. Then we're going to go up his lung field here. His lungs are just clear as the bell in this case. Same thing over here, palpating the femoral artery here. Listening to the heart, heart is wonderful, going up to his lungs. And Duke is just about as healthy as you get based on this physical exam. Other things we've done before this surgery, we've taken some blood samples, uh, we've checked him for anemia, we checked his liver and kidney function, everything looks fine with this guy. Now, my technicians, Chiquita and Miss Dallas, are going to put an IV catheter in him in preparation for surgery. Thank you.